Hi, I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're staying safe at home. Today I want to talk about a particular vitamin that every one of us require. Okay, I'm talking about vitamin B7. Vitamin B7 is also called vitamin H and we commonly know it as biotin. So today when people have hair problems, they immediately start popping biotin tablets hoping that their hair is going to get better. Well, yes, biotin is necessary for a healthy hair growth. It is absolutely essential for the health of your hair. But vitamin B7, the body needs it in small amounts and a lot of us are deficient in this. This doesn't mean that we have to jump to supplements. First, we should try to balance out our diets and make sure that we're eating foods that are rich in vitamin B7. So what are some of the functions of vitamin B7? Number one, <clears throat> have you ever thought about the food that you eat? When you eat food, it needs to be converted into energy. And that's why we say just don't jump onto diets. If you don't have the right metabolism, if you don't have the right vitamins and minerals in your body, vitamin B7 is required to convert the food that you eat into energy. A lot of us eat and we don't have the right digestive enzymes. Digestive enzymes helps us to break down the foods that we eat. It breaks down carbohydrates, it breaks down proteins, and it breaks down fats basically into compounds that the body can absorb and utilize for our health. So number one, Vitamin B7 is required for the conversion of food into energy. It's required for the health of our eyes, our hair, our skin, our nails. A lot of people have chipping nails. A lot of people, especially when they're going through chemotherapy and radiation, their nails kind of break and they get hardened and they turn black. Well, there are a lot of people who even have those same symptoms without having to go through chemotherapy and radiation. Lack of B vitamins, lack of vitamin B7. It's required for our brain. The brain function also requires B7. So when we're looking at cognitive disease, when we're looking at Alzheimer's, we're looking at dementia, we're looking at Parkinson's, it is essential for us to check if the body is deficient in vitamin B. And if yes, we need to supplement that or get it through the foods. <clears throat> the health of your liver, when you have a cirrhotic liver, when you have a fatty liver, non-alcoholic or alcoholic, or you have a very sluggish liver, the liver requires vitamin B7 for optimum functioning. Pregnancy, for embryonic growth, for the fetal development, vitamin B7 is necessary, which is why it is so important for women who are planning to conceive and go through pregnancy that they really look at their diet to make sure that they're getting all the vitamins and the minerals in the right way. Because vitamins and minerals that are necessary for you are also necessary for the fetal growth. For type 1 diabetics, we know type 1 is an autoimmune condition. Type 1 diabetics who are insulin dependent require the light, right amount of vitamin B7 because that can go a long way in protecting your kidney from damage. So what are some of the foods? Do we need to buy a supplement immediately? Do we need to start popping biotin pills? May not be necessary if we have a healthy diet. But if we have symptoms which are very strong, sometimes your professional and your doctor may also supplement you with additional vitamin B. So you find them in eggs primarily the yolk of the eggs. For vegetarians, you find them in legumes. You find them in your rajma, your chana, your peas, all of your legume family and your lentils, you will find vitamin B7. You will find it in nuts and seeds, your almonds, your walnuts, unsalted, pistachios. You will find it in sunflower seeds primarily, then your pumpkin seeds as well and including watermelon seeds. You'll find it in sweet potatoes, you will find it in mushrooms, you will find it in spinach, you will find it in your cruciferous vegetable family, which is your broccoli, your cauliflower, your cabbage. You will find it in bananas and avocado. And if you're doing ethically sourced milk, you will find it in milk, you will find it in cheese, and you will also find it in yogurt. You'll find it in salmon if you're a meat eater, and you will also find it in red meat. And your whole grains and cereals, unrefined, whole, not refined. So you see every food that we mentioned are foods that we would be eating if we eat a balanced diet. If we're doing a fad diet, a fad diet would cut out most of these foods that we talk about and that's when we start having deficiencies. That's why people who get onto fad diets and try to lose weight the wrong way, they lose their skin, they lose their eyesight, they, not their eyesight, their eyesight kind of gets blurred and they start dropping their hair very, very quickly. So do it the right way. There's a reason why we call it balance in a diet. What is the right diet for you? The right diet for you is the diet that works for you. The diet that gives you results and the diet that's, that is sustainable. So never try to lose weight by compromising vitamin deficiencies in your body, which leads to bigger problems. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.